What's going on all you fellow fans of Scream out there and welcome to a very late update video for Scream 7 from this channel. I'm saying late because if you've kept up with my social media posts of late you will know that I have had laptop issues that has prevented me from making any videos so that's why there has been such a delay. I apologise for that in all honesty, it was completely out of my control but we're back in business now to cover some Scream 7 news that hasn't been discussed yet. So despite my issues, the world around hasn't stopped moving and that is very much true about the progress made on Scream 7. We have so much to discuss today so let me just dive straight in by recapping what we know so far before this video. So we know that Scream 7 is happening, we know that Nev Campbell is returning as Sidney Prescott and that Kevin Williamson will be directing the movie. Following that there was also rumours that Patrick Dempsey and Courtney Cox were in talks to return as Mark Kincaid and Gail Weathers respectively and that we are expected to see a younger cast alongside the main characters functioning as leads and co-leads to Nev Campbell. It's speculated that Hayden Panettiere isn't currently in active talks to return. Filming was allegedly said to take place in the fall of 2023, however that has allegedly changed since because we are now expecting filming to take place this summer as opposed to the fall. The major development here is that we have some script information that hasn't really been shared much before. The script info states that there will be new young leads again. Sydney and Gail are once again the main characters alongside Sydney's family. Sydney's family allegedly are being stalked, that's the major thing. So the new cast are likely to be her family members, extended family perhaps? But those family members are being targeted by Ghostface which springs Sydney into action. I'm assuming and I say assuming here that this likely leaves a trail from the family back to Sydney and Mark and that's why she jumps to and decides to face this foe head on. Adding to this it's already known who will be playing these kids, it's not overly clear who they are to us but Spyglass slash Paramount do have the general cast in mind and are in talks with them as we speak with one allegedly already signed on. Also a child star has been cast as Sydney's daughter apparently. We don't know who this is yet but time will tell. Filming will allegedly take place in Canada which will be so fascinating making me believe we're going to be getting a suburban movie once again after you know the New York City movie we just had in Scream 6. Now a source close to Critical Overlord has stated Patrick Dempsey has actually signed on now to star in the movie and confirmation is just around the corner. So it has been a pretty big news month for Scream 7. Of course majority of this comes from leakers, you know, insiders and so on so take it all with an extreme pinch of salt until the official announcements are made but this is all great news right? You know production seems to be ticking over nicely and if filming begins in the summer we're only a month away from summer being closer meaning that next month is going to be a huge one for the movie in terms of reveals, announcements and possibly a filming reveal. You know they may even start filming next month for all we know. I'm kind of most interested right now to see what other past cast members sign on. I know Hayden Panettiere wasn't in consideration this time round from what was leaked a few months back but I can't help but wonder if she may be a wild card at the last minute for the movie. You know just sort of add her to the roster of previous characters returning. I don't know, time will tell. So what I want to ask is if Ghostface targets Sydney's family again what could be the motive? Would this be a plot point that you'd enjoy? What are your predictions for the story? What do you think they've got in mind? If they're bringing in Sydney's family and they're casting younger stars to play as say Sydney's family you know I mean I've heard people speculate that you know there's adult daughter of hers could be involved but it's not really statistically possible. For all we know Mark Kincaid could have had another daughter if somebody else before he got with Sydney. So you know there's all possibilities they can explain away you know having a, an older daughter in the mix with that and if she's classed as Sydney's technical daughter they can easily explain that easy. So 
As usual, if you enjoy this content and want to keep updated for more Scream 7 news, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything Scream related. And I will see you in the next video.